Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And, um, like yesterday, this is, uh, gonna be kind of a hasty, kind of a hasty cast. And I'll, I'll kind of explain, I'll kind of explain why as the, uh, as the day goes, or day, as the cast goes on. But anyway, let me, uh, intro this music. Um, this is Casio Tomb, Excursion in Dust. I guess that's how it's pronounced. But anyway, um, this is, this is some more, uh, Dungeons and Dragons synth. Um, I actually have this, uh, I have this, or, hang on, hang on, I forgot what I was going to say. No, I actually have this in my, uh, watch later folder. I was planning on playing it, uh, for today's stream, but, uh, it, but, like, like I said, I'm, this is kind of rushed, so I just grabbed the first thing that came up, and it was this, so, let me go ahead and fire this up. Okay. Uh, anyway, so one of the one of the reasons why uh, why this is why I'm kind of running a little late on this is um I did a uh, I did my dailies this morning on Gems of War, but uh but also there's a they have a new weekly event called the Invasion, and that one there went kind of over long. I thought it was just gonna be a quick, you know, just be a quick four, you know, do like four or five, four or five battles and then call it good. No, I ended up doing at least twice as many. Um, and, excuse me. And for those that don't know, an, in, an invasion event in this game, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of a, I'm trying to think of a Final Fantasy fourteen equivalent. Oh, God. Yeah, I really can't think of one, but it does, it does work like your your average dungeon, you know. I think it's like a, you know, some normal battles, and then a and then a mini boss battle, and then some more regular battles, followed by another mini boss battle, and then rinse and repeat a few times till you get to the final big boss. Um, invasion kind of works like that here. Let me, I gotta turn this down. So, but, but invasion kind of works like that. Instead, what you're trying to do in here, you're you're destroying towers, and uh, which are uh, which are some pretty tough, which which are some pretty tough cookies. I mean, they're pretty hard to bring down. Um, and as you progress further in this invasion, you'll have to fight more of them. But uh, this is also my uh, very first time doing this kind of event, so I just uh. And um, on a lot of these, and a lot of these events, you can go in. You can only go in with like cer a certain race, or a certain, or I should say, a, a certain, a certain mana color. I don't, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the, uh, the video stuff with me, so I'm just kind of going off the cuff here. But uh, for those that have ever played Magic: The Gathering, like, like in some of these events, or this game kind of has that too, like. Like your cards, your characters, slash troops, etc. Um, they all have, they all have certain, they all have certain color characteristics. You know, Billy Bob here has blue and yellow, and Joe Bob over here, his his colors are blue and brown. You know that kind of thing. Well, some of these events, um, they have these stipulations where your the the group you're running with all have to have either blue or brown. In their colors, as one of their colors, you know, stuff like that. So, um, this time around, the you can only go in with undead, with the undead race. Like all the cards you have with you, they all have to be undead cards. So it, it, it's 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 that kind of thing. So which, and I, I kind of do these grudgingly because I have my own personal favorite team that I like to use. And once again, let me turn it down a little bit. It's pretty unusual. I usually have to turn the volume down to like 50% and it's good. Not this one. Actually, I think I have it down to... Yeah, I have it to 25% right now. I can't remember the last time I had to do that. So... Oh, let me, uh... I know. Let me, let me go in here. Let me look at my uh, sound mixer. No, checks out. It's just a naturally loud album. 
So anyway, um, but anyway, I, I did this event, and like like I said, it I thought it was just gonna be like four or five battles, and you know, fairly quick. It actually ended up being at least twice that. So it's kind of what caused me to be a little over long and a little bit late trying to do this cast. I'm at a point now where I try to do these around 3 a.m. rather than 4 a.m. Just little, little by little, I've just been doing them earlier and earlier. Especially if I decide, especially when I decide to do a, if I just decide to do a nature hike, or like, like a natural disaster or severe weather video or something like that, something that's going to take a very long time to upload. Then yeah, I've, I've started doing them at a. And an, I don't know. I've started doing them at an hour earlier. Brain's a little locked up. Okay, but anyway, um, I did, and, um, but also last night, and I, I did play some Gems of War outside of my stream, um, but not that much. Um, one of the other reasons why is uh, yesterday, the uh. I didn't watch all of it, just little tiny bits and pieces here and there of the, uh, the I guess the annual game awards, which I, for the most part, was just total ass. It, I mean, I'd probably say at least 75% of that, of what I watched, was all either ads or video game trailers. There wasn't a whole lot of actual game awarding. Um, but one, one, th one good thing that did happen and I kind of messed up. So, let me, let me, let me scoop up on it real quick. Yeah, and I forgot to, I forgot to say at the start of this cast that there's going to be some moving parts on here, so, so mistakes are going to be made. Okay, but anyway, one good thing about the Game Awards... Oh, hang on, hang on. Damn it. I'm gonna break my damn fingers here. Okay. Fucking embarrassing. Anyway, um... And one good thing that came out of the Game Awards is, uh, Final Fantasy XIV actually got an award for, like, best ongoing game or something like that like the game uh, uh, Final Fantasy 14 first came out in like 2012 I think so it's been going on for almost 10 years so not as long as World of Warcraft actually actually I, I figured World of Warcraft was going to get get the award I mean it's been out since like the early two thousand, the mid 2000s it, it is a 20 plus year old game I figured he was going to get the award. Uh, but uh, I think uh, the nominees, the other nominees was Apex Legends, which I think is, I think is a fairly new game to me. It really shouldn't have, to me, it really shouldn't have gotten, a, shouldn't even gotten nominated. I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly what year it came out, but it sure as hell didn't come out, it sure didn't come, it sure as hell didn't come out around the same time uh, 14 did, or even World of Warcraft. Um, Fortnite was in there. Fortnite was in there, and again, super popular game. I think Apex Legends was as well. But when they say, when they say ongoing game, those two games aren't the first that come to mind. I mean, the ones that come to my mind is uh, RuneScape would be another one, World of Warcraft would be another, um, then Final Fantasy XIV would also be another. But um, EverQuest, maybe. I don't know if EverQuest is still going is still going these days, but I mean that's another MMO that's been on a while. So, but yeah, I just, despite the fact that uh, I haven't played I haven't played it in probably at least a year, and the fact that I'm probably not going to be playing it until I probably say a few weeks from now when everything dies down, you know when the new car smell wears off, I'm still glad to have been part of the game. I'm still you know glad to be part of the game that got the award. But in, in, a, in case I didn't mention either, this was basically uh, perfect timing on my part. 
I just happened to be in the right place at the right time because, like I said a few minutes ago, I didn't didn't watch a whole lot of the Game Awards. I mean, whenever there is a an ad or a game trailer, up you know, I'm back to playing uh, Gems of War again. Another thing I did, another thing I did last night is played some uh, Balloons Tower Defense Six. That's uh, Balloons Tower Defense. That's a game I've been playing ever since the 2010s. It's like, like when the third or fourth one came out on the uh, on the Congregate website. But uh, they have a they had a brand spanking new map that came out, so I just went ahead and did it. Um, I even uh, I even made a video about it. So yeah, me and that game go back a while. Uh, but but aside from that, I, I also during this time I also watched some more Planet Earth. Um, I think uh okay. Um, I think I'm done with the Shallow Seas episode. I think. No, I'm up. Uh, I'm most of the way done with it, and I, I think the next one, uh, I want to say Deep Ocean, there might have been something else in there too, I can't remember what, but, but yeah, um, I'm really like, really liking the show though, although, um, I forgot to, I forgot to mention yesterday, um, they're kind of, a. Uh, this Dave Attenborough, the narrator, he's kind of skirting the line. He's kind of pushing it because, like, towards the end, it, towards the end of the last video, I think he said something like, "But no predator, or no threat to the jungles, is greater than today's chimpanzees, humankind, or something like that." I mean, it's not like he was gonna start going into a damn environmental PSA, which I do not want in my nature shows. Um, I've said this in another cast too. I mean, I'm totally with the environmentalists on this. I'm totally with the environmentalists on this. I mean, the planet's getting fucked up pretty bad right now, and um, and it's pretty damn bad what the higher powers that be are, are, you know, the ones that are causing all this destruction. On one end, it's pretty it's pretty bad what they're doing, but on the other end, it don't surprise me. I mean, you know, they're to me they're addic they're addicted to wealth and power like I'm addicted to junk food. You know, like a, like a, you know, like a crack addict that's addicted to crack or meth, you know. They're going to do whatever they got to do to get, to feed their addiction. You know, no matter who they fuck over in the process. You know, so, you know, and I totally get all that. But I don't want that stuff in my nature shows. You know, I'm there to, you know, I'm there to watch nature in action. Or what's left of it anyway. You know, that's what I'm there to watch. I'm not there to... I'm not there to listen to somebody, and this is especially um, back when I was a kid too. Um, I just remember this: some of those old cold nature shows that I watched when I was a kid. It just it really ruined it. It like right around the right around the middle of the. Like, I think it was like starting right around the middle of the show. It would just no predator is greater than mankind. Mankind has been polluting rivers ever since the Industrial Revolution. Species have been wiped out because of our reckless capitalism and, you know, that kind of thing. You know, it just really kills the vibe. So. Okay, but. Otherwise, um. That's gonna do it, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say this morning, and am sorry for the mistakes. But like I, like I said, this is kind of a, I kind of, this is kind of hastily put together. So, all right. So, um, so thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. Um, hopefully better, hopefully better prepared. 
So, but until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.